Here's my list of the top people to avoid. I don't know half of you half as well as I should like, and I like less than half of you half as well as you deserve. Number one, fair weather friends. Friends who only show up when they want to. This type of person is never available to help. They won't cry with you when your dad dies. They won't be there when you need them. They will not be there with you in battle because battle's hard. They're only going to be there when there's a party or there's stuff to gossip about, blah, 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 blah. They're not the fellowship friends. Number two, hobby friends. These are friends who are only with you because of a hobby. Or you could call them location friends. They're only with you because of circumstances, right? Um, people who get high with friends, I would call these like hobby friends. Um, you drink with them. But are these hobbies helping you grow? Or do you only hang out with them for this hobby alone? And is that hobby going to help you grow? Something to think about. Number three, jealous friends. People of this type are the kind to encourage you until you surpass them. Then they will see you as something different altogether and discourage you. And I've had a lot of experience with this. And trust me, it sucks because they were once your biggest supporters. But the best thing that you can do, if, if you try, you know, if you've, if you explain why you're continuing to grow a certain direction, which may be away from them because they aren't doing anything, because they aren't growing, you don't even have to say that. If you keep explaining that and they keep reacting this way, the best thing that you can do is get far away from these people because they will not be encouraging anymore and they will only hold you back. I regret to announce this is the end. I'm going now. Next. Fake friends. I don't know why I'm saying this. Like it's, ha, ah, fake friends. These people are kind of similar to the jealous friends, but they may still act like they have your back. But behind closed doors, they do not. And they will stab you in the back if you're not careful. You spot these people with the experience of knowing the difference between dishonesty and truth. If you're actively seeking truth in your own life, you aren't lying to yourself, for instance. The human brain has evolved to recognize dishonesty, and you can grow in that discernment too. Another key is, are they where you want to be? Do they give helpful advice and actively seek your best interest even when it isn't in theirs? And the nail in the coffin is, are they gossipers? Do they talk behind other people's backs to you? If they do. You can bet you will not be excluded. Fan friends. This one took me a long, long time. I know it sounds dumb, but being in the entertainment industry for a while, I've seen people want to be my friend, but they were really just, I wouldn't call them fans, but the concept is the same. They want to fawn over you instead of really getting to know you. This is where seeking truth comes into play. It's the same thing as dating. Unless you let go of your idealization of a person, you will never see someone for who they really are. If someone isn't living in reality and views you as an idealized version of yourself, they don't really love you. They don't love the real you. It is fake. And this is why you want to be careful with sinking truth and not living in false reality. Healthy relationships are all about allowing people to be who they are. And you can love them where they are and see their potential at the same time. But do you allow people to be comfortable around you? Do they make you feel comfortable? And this one took me a while. Do you like how they make you feel? You attract who you are. You also repel who you aren't. While you're learning self-esteem, boundaries against toxicity, and becoming your best self, don't be afraid to cut people out of your life. Then I know what I must do. It's just... I'm afraid to do it. I hear it all the time, but I'm scared to be alone. 
if people aren't your real friends, you already are and you just don't know it. And it's way more dangerous to not live in reality than it is to actively seek something better. Jim Rohn says, life does not get better by chance, it gets better by change. I wish none of this had happened. So do all who live to see such times, but that is not for them to decide. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to us. Sometimes we lose people by choice or things out of our control. I bid you all a very fond farewell. But you do attract who you are. You want entrepreneur friends? Be one. You want an emotionally intelligent and fit girlfriend or boyfriend? Be that. But with that same measurement, be careful. Because the same measurement of what you judge, you will be judged for. You will be as rich or as successful or as healthy as the top five people you want to spend time with. Who do you spend time with? Are those top five people you spend time with the people you want to become? Change is inevitable, but growth is optional. Thank you for joining me on this journey. And until next time, I hope you take that step toward your best life and stay mainstay.